Hi folks and welcome back to Physics with Captain Rod. The purpose of this video is to uh, show how to find a position vector. <clears throat> All right now, remember vectors come in lots of different types. There's force vectors, position vectors, moment vectors, electric field vectors. Um, what we're looking at here is a position vector that starts at the point A and ends at the point B. Now, this RAB means that the position vector starts at A, ends at B. And what I'm going to do is find that vector in unit form, in unit vector form. Now, coordinates. This point right there is the point, let's see, it's three units this way, uh, two units in the negative y direction, and the z coordinate is zero. This point right here, let's see, x, y's, let's see, looks like we're back three, so minus three. Uh, y direction. We're four units in the y direction and we're three units in the z direction. And again these would be in meters. I'm going to go ahead and put units on these. Now the position vector uh, AB that's the vector that gets us from A to B. If I wanted to get there and I think about this in terms of left right up down or in, in terms of like I, J, and K I've got to go two units this way and then four more. Um, in the J direction and then I got to go like three units this way and then another three more and then I got to go three units up. So what I'm going to do here is write out the I component. So as far as the I component is concerned we've got to go three units back and then another three units this way. That's equal to uh, minus six I. Right? J component. We've got to go two units in the plus J and then four more in the plus J. So that's going to be uh, plus six J. And then K component, we got to go three units up. So plus three K. Let's close that parenthesis off here. All right. And then this vector would have units of meters. Now I did it just by uh, kind of showing distances here. But if we look at each numbers independently, where did they come from? This came from the difference between the x-coordinates, the x-coordinate at B minus the x-coordinate at A. This one came from y-coordinate at B minus y-coordinate at A. Third one came from z-coordinate at B minus z-coordinate at A. So and this was j and then k. So think of this as like final minus initial, final minus initial, final minus initial. I'm going to go ahead and write it out now. So xb minus xa would be negative 3 minus 3. I. Okay, yb minus ya would be 4 minus a minus 2. J. And then... Uh, ZB minus ZA would be 3 minus 0. Okay, and then we should have units on this vector. This is in meters. So again, this is how we find right here the difference, or I'm sorry, this is how we find a position vector that goes from A to B. Take the difference between the X coordinates, difference between the Y coordinates, difference between the Z coordinates. You always do final minus initial. So this vector gave me the position vector that points from A to B. If I wanted the position vector from B to A, I'd be taking these coordinates and subtracting these coordinates. Now, while I'm at it, I'm going to talk a little bit here about how to find a unit vector now, how to use this position vector to find a unit vector. So position vector AB is negative 6i plus 6j plus 3k. There's going to be lots of times where I need a unit vector that points in the direction of the position vector. So I would call this R, A, B, and put a unit symbol over it. And the way we can find a unit vector is if we take this position vector and divide by its magnitude. Anytime you divide a vector by its magnitude, you get a, you get a unit vector, a vector of length one. You can do that with a position vector, you can do it with a velocity vector, an acceleration vector, force vector, any vector. In statics, it's very common to have a position vector and then need to get use that position vector, or I should really call it a displacement vector to get us a unit vector. So the magnitude of the position vector AB is going to equal the square root of 6 squared plus 6 squared plus 3 squared. So that's going to be 36 plus 36 plus 9. And 
that's equal to the square root of, let's see here, 72, 82, uh, 81, I believe. Double check that one more time. 72, 80, yep, which is 9. So the unit vector AB, I'll say RAB, and I'll put a unit vector symbol, is going to equal, all we have to do is take this displacement vector here, or I could call it the position vector B with respect to A, and divide by its magnitude. So it's going to be minus 6 ninths I plus 6 ninths J. I'm taking 6 and divided by uh, the magnitude 9 plus 3 ninths K. Now each one of these can be simplified. I'm not going to bother doing that uh, and redrawing it. Um, you can just leave it just the way it is too and it's just perfectly fine. So what this vector gives, that's this guy. It's a, a unit vector that's pointing from A to B. If I reverse the signs on it, I would get a unit vector pointing from B to A. Now as far as where would we use that? A lot of times we're going to use position vectors like this to calculate unit vectors and then use these unit vectors to attach uh, directions to forces. But I'm going to save that for another video uh, for now. This is how we find a position vector that points from A to B. Just take the difference between the x-coordinates, I, plus difference between the y-coordinates, J, plus difference between the z-coordinates, K. Always do final minus initial. So if I want the position vector pointing from A to B, you're taking the coordinates at B, subtracting the coordinates at A. Uh, another important part of this video, you can take this position vector and turn it into a unit vector by dividing by its magnitude. And that's what I did right here. Negative 6 over 9i plus 6 over 9j plus uh, 3 over 9k. We now have a unit vector. And another thing to realize, this thing's dimensionless. It doesn't have any units. That's why I can use it to give other vectors direction, any other vectors that I know that are parallel to position vector AB. So, hope this video helps demonstrate how to find a displacement vector or a position vector and how to turn that into a unit vector. Have a great day.